What's up you guys? Welcome to another edition of Gaming After Bedtime. We are jumping back into the Batman Telltale series, starting with episode 2, seeing where this takes us. Before we get to it, make sure you like and subscribe. That makes a massive difference for the channel here. Just one click for you, a couple clicks for you, makes a big difference for us. And let's get into episode 2. I should also say, before I click start, if you don't watch the first episode, you might be a little confused. So go back in the channel, find episode 1, make sure you get caught up, and then join us for episode 2. And with that, let's go. See what happens in Gotham City. Ooh, previously on Batman the Telltale series. I like that. That's helpful. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you Oh yeah, that's Cobblepot. Mr. Wayne. Thank you for opening your house to us. Together, you're, you're we welcome, will Harvey. change Gotham. Now, Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky uh -huh. Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Oh, yeah, what did we say? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. She's like, I can't believe you did that. I bet. <laughs> the chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. And then they shoot at him, I think. Right? It's... The Waynes. What a twist! Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> I think he gets in Alfred's face. What aren't you telling me, Alfred? Yes, we know that this game adapts to the choices that we make, and that the story is tailored by how we play. Let's get after it, guys, huh? Still nighttime. Always raining. Wayne Memorial Auditorium. Interesting. <clears throat> oh, is that where it happened? Only you now, Master Bruce. Yup. <clears throat> Press X to pray, pay respects. 5.38 a.m. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. But you should see this. I know you come here for Mob money behind Bruce. Wayne Fortune. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. Oh. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. Wait. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. What? I... I hoped it would never come. So he's... Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. <clears throat> the truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just oh. not possible. That kind of money taints you. Oh. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. And what did the Waynes do? Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. <gasps> Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. What? Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. What a twist. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. 
I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I oh. couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed. And you oh. were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for oh, you. Thanks, Alfred, Dad. I hope you can forgive me. Oh, come on. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. Wow. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would Joe have the Chill. audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well-known. Too... too big. Seems suspicious. Yet, there it was. Wouldn't Chill just run when he recognized him? Well, it's a fair assumption. But he didn't. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. Well, he didn't know that before, Alfred. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. <clears throat> Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Uh... What? Like 20 years later, there's going to be some kind of... Come on. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents killer? Mm -hmm. The possibilities are frightening. I only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one huh. mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. But he also can't get justice. But look at the graffiti over here. And there is a lot of it. The movie's called Saturday Matinee. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just... I can't picture him as a criminal. Not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. Uh -huh. Do we keep going this way? Trying to find something? Or do we need to go back the other way? Oh, it is the theater. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. Who doesn't love Saturday when matinee? Did play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Huh. <laughs> was she actually behind it all, guys? I'm questioning everything I know. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. Huh. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. You guys have never talked about this? Do I really want to know? Wasn't random. No more, Cody. 
is making a mistake. Whoa. Well, no doubt about that. What is that? It wasn't a bug. A flashback. It was a hit. They were assassinated. <laughs> and Carmine Falcone knows why. Oh, here we go. Is Batman going to make a visit to the Falcone residence? Huh. Maybe not. see Falcone like this I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking now, don't get me wrong I'm always here for you but this could land us both in hot water I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant this better not come back to bite us look I get that hard okay and it means a lot to me I know it does Bruce it doesn't make it any easier <laughs> the last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone the press made us pay at least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. Trust me, you don't want to know. No, you don't no, I do. Know. That's why I'm asking. I don't ask questions I don't want to know the answers to. I'm sorry, Arby. It's better this way. Fine, fine, don't tell me. I hope none of this comes back to bite us. Hmm, that seems like foreshadowing. It's taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen. We finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. I gave him some evidence against Falcone. Uh, more like a catalog of his entire criminal empire. It's a case that'll put Falcone away for life. Wow. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request Harvey seems mad His job bringing in Falcone <coughs> yeah that son of a bitch better not get off again he's not getting off the hook Renee not Renee Montoya Mr. Wayne Sergeant Renee Montoya oh I just wanted to say you know some of us police support you despite what the media is saying thanks sergeant maybe one day you'll be eventually Andy name the question we're keeping Falcone in the infirmary He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. I know he does a lot for the department, but honestly, Batman freaks me out. Oh, he's definitely freaky. But I'm glad he's out there watching over the city. So sneaky. All right, so the trail. inside. You say what you got to say. We'll be out here. Okay. Let's go. Episode two. Ooh. Children of Arkham with giant font. You don't look so good. Hell, Bruce Wayne. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> we need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. <laughs> but then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth into you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Bruce don't like that. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. 
More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. He's gonna deny it. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings. And they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Convince <laughs> me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me, we ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? They just leave Morphine sitting on a table. What are you gonna do, Bruce? Well, it's the only way we get answers. Forty years I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Of course, you'd never know the whole story. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? I'm not a murderer. Tell me. No, Bruce. you're not. That's why you were kept in the dark. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. Hmm. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Yeah. There's a kindness in you. You care about people. <laughs> Even mean old bastards like me. <laughs> well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. Tom Bruce. Wait, you really think I hired Chill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who, who did? Yeah, who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Whoa! They're waiting for you in hell! What the? The bastard had to die. What's up with your face? Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! I don't think no. a doctor's gonna no. do anything. Ooh. It's getting serious now. Why is he still there? We are in deep shit. What's up with your smoke time, there, Gordon? But not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close, we were this close! Dude, the smoke is all messed up there. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. <sighs> it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. <sighs> Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. Uh -huh. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. 
Someone planned this for a reason. Even if that's true, the simple fact is she gunned him down in his hospital bed. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Uh-oh. Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. What are you going to do, Bruce? They're just going to leave you with her? Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. I guess so. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm going to try and confirm some suspicions of mine. What kind of phone is that? Oh, right. It's not a movie. We're playing. Her veins still visible beneath her skin. <laughs> it does look weird. Ooh, and look at her neck. A fresh injection site. That doesn't look like blood. Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the result. Whoop. Of course. I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results. She's waking up. Where am I? Mr. Wayne? What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Yeah. Uh Everything is such a blur. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Why would she tell him? Oh, God. Falcone. I was hoping it wasn't real. Well, I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone. But I would never, never betray the lieutenant. We believe you, Montoya. So foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. There was a voice in oh. my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I need was that I had to stop that. Huh. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I should have, they were a million miles away. D did you see a face? Could you ID a suspect? I, no. I don't think so. You must remember some detail. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. Mm. The voice, it was saying something about revolution <gasps> cobblepot cobblepot said something similar i'm so sorry lieutenant i've let you down we stalled falcone's lawyers for now but they'll be back how is she did she tell you anything yeah, hey, hey, don't worry about that now Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcone. Heal. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Not really. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! She's everywhere. What are you doing here? My friends in the in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown. Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. <laughs> Word is there were shots fired near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. She is persistent. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate Prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now, you're here. 
You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now if you'll excuse me. You should talk to me, Bruce. This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not. <laughs> I wonder if it actually will come out. But that Vicky is everywhere. She's the Red Batmobile. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found in the docks. Hmm. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Yeah, there Thrown is some in his irony. Head, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Murder at the hands of Montoya. That's not justice. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. Hmm. Kinda. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. So who else would it be? Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. Okay. Let's look at the dock sample the first. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was messy. They were out of control. Okay. But Montoya's. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Huh. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Nothing good. Fighting your wars is one thing, but drugging others to fight them for you? Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses, the things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. Okay. Time to suit up. Select a drone. Uh, sure. Find it? Find her! Find her now! Oh, we did. Send a strong message. Okay. Oh. Why would it be all spread out? That's what I don't really understand. Ooh. Okay. And the last bat drone. Seems a little obvious, doesn't it? Okay. It's not a triangle, though. Skyline Club. The Skyline Club. Yeah. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? 
Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Let's go. Daytime Batman, it looks like. Oh! Look at these guys. Oh, that's cool. Come check out this office. Where is he? I don't know! Please! I... You can help me. Or... <laughs> Let him go. Batman! Uh -huh. That's it's me. It's about time. You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. I said let him go. Tom, yeah, Batman. Rolling. That sounded like an order. I'll crush him. Now, oh. now, have a little respect for the bat. Think he underestimates you. Who is that guy? Is this about Falcone? Croc? We Grundy? We saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a punk. On live TV. That if you is were true. truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Hmm. Might be time to reconsider. Interesting. As a show of good faith, I'm going to let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Huh. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? What does Bruce Wayne have to do with this? Pretty boy's got himself a fat bank account, thanks to his parents. Only problem is... People that couldn't fight back. Oh, Here's vendetta. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. Who's that guy? They found Catwoman. Oh. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay and watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! <laughs> okay, are we gonna fight the big giant guy? Okay. What do you got, Batman? He's got to be grunting. <laughs> Just me. Alright, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Alfred, track down Selena Kyle. You guys should really get a code name for Alfred, so he's not saying that amongst all the people. Right? I need to talk to you urgently. Was this undercover Bruce? He's got a hoodie. The 
the stacked deck. Yeah. This guy's too much of a pretty boy. What's up? Is that Bruce Wayne? Yeah, it is. Alright, long way around there, Brucey boy. You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Haha. Uh -huh. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Hilarious. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd be surprised. Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? Haha. Uh -huh. Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low lying type. I buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. Oh, thanks, Selena. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Hmm. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Oh. Penguin? Shit. Wait, how do we know that? <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Okay. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. Huh. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. And now I'm not an surprised. enemy. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? That is the question. It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. So, well, I'm not specific reference. Find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. Mm. Come on, Selena. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce. Sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Oh, sketchy. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Uh-oh. Penguins, men. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says, hello. <laughs> oh, what are we going to pick? Beat it. We're here for her. Time to fight. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. All right, let's go. Time for a fight. Ooh. 
Oh, bottle to the face. Oh. Yeah, run away, dude. You guys are weird. Ooh. Knife time. Oh, to the table. Weird hold you've got in that guy. In. Oh! Let me take him down. Not done yet. One more. I mean. They are quick time events. That's pretty cool still. I hope they're getting up. I think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Oh! Okay. It's like Nightwing. Not even a scratch. Not even a scratch. Finishing move. Ooh. I think he's done. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. Uh, what? What? Why is my controller drifting? Oh, took his phone. Come on, this way. All right, do we escape? Quick, check the alleyway. Can't see anything. Negative. Let's check the other side. That cop is terrible at his job. Can't help himself. Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Okay. W wait. Yes or no? Will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. <laughs> Pretty always, good reason to say yes. Always living in the gray. You shouldn't trust me, you know. I don't really have a choice. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Oh, what does this little doohickey do? I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? The last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's okay. working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. A bat visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have oh. to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Hmm, what do you think, guys? I think we go as Bruce. Going 
guess Bruce is the smart choice. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can manipulate the situation well enough. Nobody's in City Hall. And they haven't repaired it yet? Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing Here's the, the rest of your head. He really can't be disturbed right now. You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment? But the mayor... Where's your head? Fine. And if he fires, you just come to work for me. Deal? Ah! That's creepy. Blah, 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 blah. Bruce Wayne? Finally, you've come to see me. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. But right. you're a day late and a great How many can we manipulate short. this? We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. Hmm. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. A soft boy? Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. It is you. So? What's your point? What's this other I room you have to? Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. Hmm. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Oh. Oswald's family signed it over to us, along with the rest of their assets. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Oh, does he? Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for him. I think there's supposed friend. to be a Harvey Dent poster. Not a chance, Hill. I'm not cutting Harvey loose. Were well, you dropped on your head? When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. No. Not today. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things, and I give them to whoever I please. You're we'll nothing see. like your father. You'd never have the backbone to do what we did. I'm the heavyweight, Wayne, and you're punching above your weight. Get out of the ring before you get hurt. The judges may bow, but the voters will burn you at the stake when I turn you in. Ooh. If that voicemail makes it to the papers, or anywhere else I don't like, I'll turn my commissioner loose on your lieutenant for that fiasco down at the precinct. Gordon? And then I'll turn him on you and Dent for being there. Ooh. Now, if you'll excuse leverage. me, I have a debate to prep for. Get him out of here. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. You should watch your own back. Uh-oh. Well, time to go. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security the debate. Interesting. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. <coughs> What's gonna happen, guys? Something dramatic at the debate?
Does the Batman need to make an appearance at this debate? I wonder what else is on here. Put it in the thingy. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium where the debate's being held. Hmm. Still I hacked into keyboard. the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. Hells, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. No, we didn't really get there. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To be honest, Alfred, nothing can shock me anymore. Not when it comes to my parents. I wish I felt the same way. But I suppose no good can come from wallowing. The city needs you now more than ever. It is true. Uh, Why have the chair I'll, pop up? Uh, I'll leave you to it then. Bye, Alfred. Uh, bye. Right, Gotham bye. District Attorney Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Uh -huh. Let's check this out. Wait a minute. What? The images on these cameras haven't changed. <gasps> Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at what they want us to see. Time to go. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there now. Right. Engines to power. Turbines to speed. Na 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 Batman. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Yes. Something's come up. Something that's, well, it's not exactly pleasant. What? Why? What happened? Are you all right? Me? Oh yeah, I'm fine. No, you mean because of this penguin threat? They have me in some back room until the debate begins. Hmm. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of kill, if you ask me. Uh, look. Bruce, I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. What the heck, Harvey? Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good... I, I get it. It's the smart move, but let's talk about that later. I'm glad you see it that way. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. No matter what, we need a new mayor. Hill needs to be removed. I knew you'd see it that way. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Wow. Dude is thirsty. Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, thank you, Bruce. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. Eh. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. What are you going to say, Harvey? Man. Take, take some serious confidence to say... I gotta distance myself from you, but also, let's still be friends. <laughs> yeah, all quiet so far. I've got a feeling that's about to change. I'm glad I took a chance on this... this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. Oh, thanks. A hero. Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. 
Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. Oh, hi. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? We're all on the same side, Jim. Well, this better not come back to bite me. It seems like it Alpha might. Patrol, come in. That, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I did. I thought I'd repay the favor. Aww. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing. Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't Batman make a joke? It. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha, do you read? Now aren't you glad I'm here? Uh-huh. Here we go. Well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. We are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. <laughs> Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. Wow. All right. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham City. This is an important debate for these two candidates, the incumbent mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. Uh -huh. And it's also important for you, the citizens of Gotham, who will soon head to the polls to decide the future of your home, a city that's faced its share of hardships in recent years. Okay. Price of crime rates, income inequality, yes, a massive vigilante loose on our streets. <gasps> Boom. Nice work, guys. Also, if Gotham is so bad, why would Hill get reelected? That's what I want to know. Wait. Stop playing with your drone, Brucey boy. Uh oh. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sons sorry, of ladies and gentlemen. <gasps> As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business. Oh. Oh. Whoa. I hate to be a downer, but these hostages, I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Don't think about the odds or you'll make mistakes. You have to stay focused. <laughs> Speak for yourself, Batman. Okay. I will. You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. Oh, there she is again. These guys are armed to the teeth. So are we. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Thank you for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right, I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. Okay. Okay, so I think... Yeah. Sure. Is that a good link? Uh huh. Uh huh. This is a cool, a cool way to do action without. Yeah, Catwoman taken down. Without having like combat that you're planning the attack. That's cool. I'm into it. Smart. The, the, the subject on everyone's mind is the new Wayne Mental Health Facility. What's that? Alright. Should we smack him into the door? Thanks. 
All right, here we go. Alright, here we go. Got him. And last one. Not bad. Good job, guys. Everybody okay? Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. Oh. And now, a word from our sponsor. My dumb brothers and sisters of color. Who is that? You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We are here to end the masquerade. And expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. Tonight, oh we show you the truth. This is spiraling out of control. They have no idea about the man behind the mask. Whoever it is, they're smart. Let someone else get their hands dirty. Yeah. Look into the hearts of these spineless creatures. Chosen to Go on, love. You know what to do. What she got there? Ah! Oh, it's the drug that makes them have no inhibitions. I don't know. Harvey's pretty jacked. I'd be worried about him. Tell me what you really think about the city you pretend to love. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should insert the pool. Now what? We're out of time, Batman. The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage. Yeah. So Harvey. What is this? Subject nine. Dad. I thought your father was dead. He is. Subject nine. Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. Please. I'll sell you the land. Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Hmm. Drug. Something Don't weird is happening. We're friends. We'll always play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Come into the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. Thomas is looking like a bad dude. No, 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 no. We be helping? Maybe. Yep. Bad man. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Uh -huh. Oh, good job, Vicky. Go. What are you kicking crap out of here? Oh, who is this guy? It's really bugging me. What are you gonna do here? Well, please, I need an answer. You could never. 
Come on, Batman. I took out Thomas Wade. That, 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 that was all him. He didn't know when to stop. I had him killed because of it. What? Oh, back of my poor old mum. So this is for her. Else. Yeah, get him, Harvey. Oh. Well. He's down. Shocks to the face. Seems painful. Where's your mate, Bruce Wayne? Your biggest supporter. And you didn't even turn up. Time to fight. Batman! The revolution's already started! It's too late to join! Your revolution is over, Penguin. Yeah, tell him. On the contrary, we're just getting started! Uh oh. She gets shot. <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We gotta save Harvey. Mr. Dent. Oh, she just got shot in the shoulder. Study the chemical. He snuck off. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was yeah. confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. What's gonna happen now? Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. Mr. Wayne, Lieutenant, you gonna arrest him? He's lucky, you know. Could have been much worse if the Batman hadn't been there. But there still will be scars. Selena. Lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time. Oh, is that the symbol? We are the children of Arkham, and we have opened your eyes. Creepy. Children of Arkham. Wow. Did you ease Falcone's pain? Most people did. Most people tried to kiss Selena. We did. Oh, that one's closer. Most people continue to fund Harvey's campaign. Uh huh. Oh, most people saved Selena. Interesting. That's probably the one choice we've made so far that is in the minority. Look at that. All right. We'll watch this. Next, Next time, time. On Batman, the Telltale series. Batman saved me. But I know this isn't over. Who are these people, Bruce? 
Authorities are scrambling. The so-called children of Arkham have the city in a frenzy, but there's still no sign of their masked leader. Mm. With Hill and Falcone dead by their hands, the question on everyone's lips is, who's next? After that news about your father sending innocent people to Arkham, <coughs> sounds like the whole city wants your head on a pike. Kinda. The Waynes have always run this company, but now... They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Do you really think Bruce Wayne is worth protecting? What would you say? Yes, because he's me. What do you want from me? You know what I want. <laughs> I think it crashed, you guys. That's funny. Okay, well, we will be back again soon with some more Batman Telltale. But until then, make sure you like and subscribe as this loads back in. And we will see you again really soon for episode three of Batman, the Telltale series. <laughs>